Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be covering the ASAP Rocky multi-frame stabilization effect seen in his DMB music video. Alright open up After Effects and import the shot that you want to stabilize. Now with that layer selected go to the tracker panel and then click on stabilize motion. Now before we start stabilizing if you want to stabilize for the rotation like some of the shots in that video then go ahead and click that rotation box on right now. And if you don't do it and decide you want to do it later then don't worry I've got a solution for that as well but in this music video ASAP Rocky also just has the standard stabilization so I'm just gonna go with that for right now so now I put the track point over the subjects nose because that's right in the middle of the subjects face and then I hit that little arrow to analyze forward once it's all done go ahead and hit apply and okay now once you play it back you should see that it's stabilized but now we have these black gaps and this is the cool thing about the music video is I've never seen anyone do it like this where they fill in the black gaps with the exact shot just duplicated on the sides. I then brought in a film mat and rescaled and repositioned it to add to the film aesthetic. If you don't have a film mat yet, I've got a link down below in the description to one. I then pre-composed that film mat and then selected move all attributes just in case because that film mat is a 4K layer and my shot was just full HD. So just in case they wouldn't move well, that's what I did. I then parented that new pre-comp of the film mat to our stabilized footage. So now when our stabilized footage moves around, that film mat will stay with it. Now go ahead and highlight both of those layers and hold command and press D on the keyboard to duplicate those layers and just to stay a little bit organized I grab those already selected duplicate layers and drug them to the top. Now this is very important probably the most important part of this tutorial we're going to slide over the frame on that duplicate layer, but you're only going to be selecting the duplicate of the stabilized footage because once we move it over, that film mat is still parented to that one. If we had them both selected and move them, then they're gonna start separating and it's gonna look super wonky. Now you're gonna repeat this process of duplicating the original footage, dragging them up on the timeline just to stay organized, and then moving just that stabilized footage up, down, left, or right. I repeated this process until I had nine total frames just in case I decided after the fact that I want to scale in or rotate around. That way I wouldn't have any black gaps other than the ones in between the frames. Now if you didn't originally stabilize for the rotation and you want to now add rotation, scale, repositioning, go and create a new null object by going layer, new, null object. And now select all of your stabilized layers, not the film mats, and then parent it to that null object. Now when you adjust the position, rotation, or scale values, it will affect the entirety of that frame. And then that's it. That's how you do that multi-frame stabilization effect seen in ASAP Rocky's DMB music video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.